Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous video we started with the event at selection screen output. We covered at what time this event will trigger, what is the purpose of the event, we compared it with initialization event, we compared it with at selection screen event. Now, what we will do, we will start with the practical part of the same and huge amount of learning will be there. Before starting with the practical part, we will take a requirement first. What will be our requirement? Whenever we will run the program, selection screen and input screen will appear. Whenever selection screen and input screen appears for the first time, this currency field will not be there. It will be in invisible mode. Yes, see, we are modifying the selection screen. This particular field will be invisible. So whenever we will modify the selection screen, we will make use of which event now? Add selection screen output. Now, what is the second part of the requirement? We have a field in the form of checkbox. Suppose we will create a field here in the form of checkbox. Suppose the name of the field will be display currency. Whenever we will select that checkbox, this particular field will be visible, visible. It means the visibility of this field will be dependent on the selecting selection of that checkbox. Whenever we will select that checkbox, this particular field will be visible. Have you seen? We are modifying the selection screen. We are modifying the selection screen based upon the selection of that checkbox. It means, again, we will write the logic as a part of which event at selection screen output event. Whenever we will deselect that checkbox, this particular input field will be again invisible. It means we are again modifying the selection screen. So whenever we are modifying the selection screen, we will make use of which event at selection screen output event. Now just see, how, how this event will help. Suppose we are running the program for the first time. We all know at selection screen output event, this event will call at what time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Whenever we will run the program, our selection screen has not come yet. Before that, which event will call at selection screen output. There, we will write a logic to make this particular column, but to make this particular input field invisible, invisible. Done. Now, we will select that particular checkbox. Whenever we will select that checkbox, we will write a logic to make this particular input field visible. This is our requirement. Whenever we will deselect that checkbox, yes, we will write a logic to make this particular input field invisible. So every time we are modifying the selection screen based upon the selection of this particular checkbox and whenever we want to modify the selection screen we will make use of which event at selection screen output at selection screen output at this event call every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen it means our logic will trigger 
to make this particular input field visible or invisible, then our selection screen will come because at selection screen output event called every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Whenever the practical will start, you will 100% understand how initialization only one time calling and at selection screen output is every time calling before displaying the selection screen or input screen. So firstly, what we will do, we will firstly take a parameter in the form of checkbox. You all know how to create a parameter which will appear in the form of checkbox. The keyword is parameters. Suppose my name of the parameter is P underscore CHK. I will write type C and we want to display as checkbox. There is no need to specify the length because we all know checkboxes I'll always select or deselect. It means the length is always one. So we have not specified the length. So it will take the length one. I will check the syntax. I will run the program. Now, end user will not understand this. So I will simply, simply provide the selection text. Go to text element selection text. Suppose name of this checkbox will be display currency. Now I will run the program. Now you can understand some part of the requirement. First time this currency field will not be there. Whenever we will select this, this particular input field will be visible. Whenever we will deselect this, this particular input field will be invisible. So we will modify every time the selection screen based upon this particular checkbox. Now we will write the logic for the same. So what is the name of the event? Add selection screen output. Now I will activate the code. So now what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with a requirement. We discussed the requirement that whenever we will run the program and selection screen will appear for the first time, this particular currency field will not be there. Based upon the selection of this particular checkbox, this currency field will be visible or invisible. And we created one parameter which will appear in the form of checkbox. In the next video, we will start writing the code as a part of this event at selection screen output event. So that's it in this video. Thank you.